Good morning, boy. Good morning, uh, early morning. Uh, to uh, I see Elvis Carrera chiming in, and uh, uh, let me see. I can't rem I can't see who else. But good morning, and welcome to Peace Through the Word on this early morning hour. Uh, here it is, little about six o five in the morning. And I want to thank you for chiming in. Elvis, good to see you and good to have watched your ordination yesterday live Zoom from Lima, Peru. Uh, such, a, such a blessing. Diana Mott, good to see you, my dear, early this morning. And uh, what a blessing. So, so wonderful to see you early this morning. Thank you for accommodating me. I'm up early. I'm getting ready to go to the airport. I have to catch a flight and fly over to San Diego for a pastor's conference this week. I'll be over in San Diego today, Tuesday, Wednesday, fly back to uh, Tucson on Thursday afternoon. So uh, I'm trying to get this in before I leave for the airport. So anyway, thank you for accommodating me this morning. And um, I'm not sure how things are going to go this week since I'm going to be over there in meetings. It may not be, the broadcast may not be early in the morning. I'll, I'll try to maybe do it. Uh, later on in the day, maybe towards the evening hour. Just how it's all going to depend on the agenda and the schedule. So uh, I appreciate your accommodations this week. If for some reason it doesn't get there, uh, I'll I'll chime in on Thursday late afternoon evening when I get back home. So thank you for accommodating. Man, it's a long way to say that with a pastor things change. <laughs> okay. So what a blessing. And uh, this morning I'm going to uh, share with you our devotional from uh, Portals and Prayer. And again, brothers and sisters, I don't know what you're using, what resource you're using for your devotions. Uh, I, I pray that you're having personal devotions and whatever resource you're using, I pray it's a blessing for you. If you don't have a resource, I can honestly recommend this one. It's called Portals of Prayer, and you can get it from Concordia Publishing House. You just go into that website and put on Portals of Prayer, and you can get a copy. Okay, it's a very good daily devotional resource uh, for you if, if you don't have one. But today we're going to talk about the subject of prosperity and adversity. And we, we have both of those. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we, 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 we vacillate between the two. You know, we have uh, times of, of prosperity and then we have times of adversity. And so, uh, you know, I pray that this is going to bless us this morning as we take a look at it uh, through our devotional this morning as we come together in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So it, <clears throat> in the morning, O Lord, you hear our voices and in the morning we prepare a sacrifice for you and we watch. Our mouths are filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. <clears throat> um, and so, O Lord, open our lips <clears throat> and our mouths will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Not sure my voice has woken up yet. <laughs> So we're going to look at, uh, at Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 14. And Ecclesiastes was written by King Solomon. King Solomon was the most wealthiest king that has ever lived and ever will live. He was also the wisest. Uh, nobody had the wealth uh, like he has. Nobody. And nobody ever will. And he basically said, I denied myself nothing, <laughs> you know, and just let your mind go with this. Uh, he said, I, I, I denied myself no pleasure. You know, whatever was going to give me pleasure, I, I'm going to get it. I have mansions, you, you name it, he had it. He, he, he would make Donald Trump look like a poor guy. Now, if you can imagine that, and I don't know if you've seen Donald Trump's private plane, but, you know, King Solomon, that would be like a Model T. You know, King Solomon was filthy rich, all right? But he was also 
the wisest. Okay, so um, here's what he says in Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 14. Some of us are saying, well, man, I kind of like some of that. <laughs> so here's what he says. He says, in the day of prosperity, be joyful. Okay? And in the day of adversity, consider. God has made the one as well as the other, so that man may not find out anything that will be after him. You see, when you leave here, you're leaving it all. You're going to leave here just like you came in with nothing. doesn't matter how much you got. So that's what King Solomon says in spite of all the stuff he had. So let's see how our devotional unpacks this for us this morning. It says, God made all of our days and each one is a gift from him. Boy, it really is. And the older I get, the more I appreciate that. You know, I used to like sleep in, you know. Not anymore. I like to get up early because when you sleep in, man, most of your day is gone. I want to enjoy my day. I really do. And I, and I hope you guys do too. So we delight and find joy in days of prosperity. In days of adversity, well, not so much. Is it possible to find peace in our roller coaster lives? And he's so true, it is a roller coaster life. So he says, we know that God's ways are higher than our ways. He created a perfect universe. Imperfection and adversity came into this world only after the fall, after sin. But God can use adversity to accomplish his purposes. The Bible relates frequent examples. Jesus explained that a man was born blind so the work of God might be displayed in him. Then Jesus healed his blindness, St. John chapter 9, verses 1 through 7. Joseph suffered at the hands of his brothers, but God used their mistreatment of him to save the same people from famine, Genesis 50, verse 15 through 21. The Bible explains that pain may be used by our loving God as a discipline that yields righteousness. Even in adversity, we can trust in God and find peace in knowing that all things work together for good for those who love him. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. So the Lord is gracious and he's compassionate. So as a result of that, praise him in prosperity and praise him in adversity. In both, in both situations, in both conditions. So let me pray, okay? Thank you. Lord, you are good all the time, every time, both in prosperity and in adversity. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. What a blessing. I pray that will bless us, that we'll find contentment in both prosperity and adversity as well. So my brothers and sisters, this morning, let's profess the Christian faith and we'll use the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and he sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Brothers and sisters, this morning, let's begin our day in our new week uh, by praying the prayer our Lord taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin and our life <clears throat> sanctified and our work this day be pleasing to you through Jesus Christ our Lord. We thank you, our Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept us this night from all harm and danger, and we pray that you would keep us this day also from sin and every evil, that all of our doings in life may please you. <clears throat> For into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies and souls, and all things. Let your holy angels be with us, that the evil foe may have no power over us. Amen. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, brothers and sisters, Diana Mott, Elvis Carrera, Beverly Whitway, my dear, good to see you chiming in from beautiful Tucson on this early hour as well. Thank you so much for chiming in. And uh, for those of you that missed our brother Elvis Carrera's uh, ordination on Zoom, I posted it on my Facebook page so you'll be able to look at it if you would like. It was wonderful. What a tremendous blessing. My only regret is I wasn't able to be there. We, uh, Isabel and I were supposed to have been there before. We had planned to, to be in Lima and in the beautiful country of Peru, but COVID came and changed all that. And so we have to make that another trip. Uh, but anyway, what a blessing that was and so good. We had a wonderful worship service yesterday at Peace in the Valley Lutheran Church in Benson where I spoke on the beatitude of uh, Jesus says, blessed are those who cry, who mourn. And so uh, you can still, if you did miss that, you can still catch that on Peace in the Valley Lutheran Church Facebook page as well. So with the blessings of virtual ministry, amen, but it can also work against us. Sometimes virtual ministry, people get the idea that they can stay away from church. Mm, no. That can never replace communi community worship. It never can. And so we need to be careful with that. Okay, so uh, while it's a blessing in one sense, it can be a curse in another. So we got to be careful. Um, but anyway, my brothers and sisters, uh, I pray you'll have a wonderful day today, uh, a wonderful week. Go in God's grace and mercies and serve him. And uh, Lord willing, I'll see you and talk to you from San Diego, California. So uh, the uh, wheels will be retracted. So will the flaps. And I convey to each and every one of you tremendous blue skies. <laughs>